Hello everyone, and welcome to Summer Navada Plays Marvel Snap. This is a free-to-play card game that's on Steam and mobile. Uh, and it's just like a short, quick, addictive type of experience. Like, I've been playing it for, I'm gonna say like four hours, four or five hours now. And it's just, it's it hits all the right notes of like, just like a easy type of deal where you can turn it on every once in a while, play it. It's got like a bunch of... Let me just play it, man. Let me show you rather than tell you. Alright, this is definitely not a bot. Nobody AI got a name like that. If you have no cards here, plus one energy each turn. Alright, so there's six turns in the game. Uh, each card has an energy cost and a power. The energy is left, power is the right one. Um, you can play as many cards as you've got energy for. If I have no cards... Okay, so we don't want to play on the left one because we'll get plus one energy every time that we don't. Which means I'm going to put Star-Lord here with my two energy. He has an on-reveal ability where if I guess that my opponent's going to play a card there that turn, he gets plus three power. Alright, that dude is stupid. That dude is willingly throwing away plus one energy per turn for no feasible benefit that I can see. Alright, Mindscape. At the start of turn six, swap hands. So you got these three lanes. The goal of the game is that at the end of six turns, you want to have control power-wise of two or more of the lanes. Swap hands. Damn, I can't do a whole lot here. I'm just going to play Quicksilver right there. I drew a bunch of my high cost cards this time around. <laughs> Alright, what are you doing? You're doing Medusa. Medusa's supposed to be played in the middle, so I don't know what this dude's doing. This dude has misplayed twice in a row right now. I'm snapping. This dude don't know a damn thing. He's gonna retreat, ain't he? Come on, be scared of the snap. If I snap and I win, I get double the rewards, but if I snap and lose, I also lose double. I'm gonna play Jessica Jones here. And then if I don't play a card next turn in that same place, she's gonna get an additional plus four power according to her effect. All right, so right now he controlling number le the left one, which good for him. I don't wanna play there until probably the last turn. Let's see, we got Iron Man. Okay, we do not want to put a card in the middle. That's the important thing. He may think that he's just got left locked down. Gamora is a gamble. If my opponent played a card here this turn, plus five power. I get plus five power if I guess that my opponent's going to play a card. So it's e for it, me, it's either left or right. This dude is unpredictable in that his brain faculties are not all there. So I'm putting Gamora on the right. Yeah, well, if I had put my stuff on the left and guessed wrong, it would have been for no benefit, and I would have just lost out of my plus one energy, so. Logistically, it was the right play. Okay, at the start of turn six, swap hands. So what that means is I'm going to want to get rid of my big card right now. If this dude, this dude can have the left lane, I've decided. He can have the left lane. He's probably going to take my Iron Man card when we swap hands. So he'll probably want to play Iron Man over there just to double the power and really guarantee that. I'm going to put Odin. I mean, the unreveal thing. Oh, it activates them. So if I put it to the right, would that just like work straight up? I'm putting Odin in the middle. I'm not sure if I should put him in the middle or on the right. <laughs> they might not end up making a difference. Yeah, this dude, uh, go ahead and shore up your defensive line on the left lane, alright? I don't care about that one. All I gotta do is win these two. And win them I shall. Uh, there's pretty much nothing he can do to win the middle lane. He could possibly win the right lane. But then again, he got all my cards, and I forgot which ones I was holding. I say ongoing cards plus two power. Who's ongoing? You're on reveal. You're on reveal. All these cards are on reveal. That's on reveal. Okay, Spectrum is not going to help. It's just going to be like a little power boost. Which might be good enough. In fact, that's pretty much all we can do. 
So I'm gonna put you there. I already snapped. I am very... I am confident we're gonna win. All right, you doubled your two into a four. Well done. <laughs> oh, man. All right, and that's a dub. That's what we in the business call a fat dubski. That dude did not know how to play. And that's what I'm talking about out here, man. I don't want to, like, toot my own horn. I'm pretty sure I've lost maybe one match since I started playing. You do play against bots in this game. Maybe even, like, a majority of them are bots, but I've played against quite a bit of human players, too, that were verifiable, and, uh, yeah, it's just a good time. Honestly, whether I'm playing against bots or not, the experience is the same, in terms of just, like, how fun it is or whatever. Alright, so we upgraded a card which gave us a green whatever thing. We want to raise this up so we get our uh, different rewards out here. Mystery cards are the most valuable to me in particular. Mm, but okay. So yeah, and then after your match, you can check out your daily missions. I've already done most of them today. All that's left is play 200 powers worth of cards we're getting there. Probably in a couple more matches. Two, maybe three, I'll get that. And then we already completed Recruit Season 1, Chapter 1. We're down here trying to win four more matches and reach Collection Level 35, which was that green thing. And then, yeah, dude. Um, yeah, it's a free-to-play card game. I wouldn't really... It's less pay to win and more just... It's more pay to, like, play rewardingly. Like, so what you spend gold on here, because gold is the actual currency that you can buy with real money and whatnot. Uh, so you come down here and get gold if you feel like doing that. And what you would spend that on most optimally is you would come in here and spend it on... Not that. Where am I looking at? Come over here. You would come over here, you would spend gold on getting more daily missions. Like, you would click right here and do that. Because the missions give you these currencies, which you use to upgrade cards, which is what gets you your collection bonus up, which is how you rank up in general. And uh, it also lets you complete challenges, which increase this level right here, which gives you in turn more credits and some gold and some season pass XP. And then raising this bar comes over and gets you different levels over here. It's very like the system's interlock Maybe only some of that made sense on the first go around, but the point is Marvel Snap is fun and it makes sense. And I had no idea that I would be into it, but I watched someone play it for five minutes and I was like, oh, I get it. And let me <laughs> let me in, man. I wish it was DC Snap personally, but, you know, I watched and I've seen enough Marvel movies to have some lore on some of these characters and still get, like, kind of hyped if I were to get a decent one. Hello, who are you and why are you in my hand? If any of your locations are empty, plus four power. The hub, add a random card to each player's hand. Okay, okay, all right. So that gave me Warpath. All right, well, the... As the only one-cost card, Quicksilver is the only card I can play. Its ability guarantees it to be in my first draw which is good if you want to play a card right away. The card with the highest power here gets plus three power. That's cool. So we could put... I wonder if you'd want to double down on this. We could either go Medusa in the middle lane, which would put her at four, which would then get her plus three from this, which would put her at seven total for one card, which would be pretty decent. But then if I put Star-Lord in the middle, assuming he would put a card in the middle, that would put me at 5, which would put me plus 3, which would give me 8 power on a single card. Hmm, this is the safer bet. And yeah, he didn't do it, so... Bucky Barnes? Ugh. When this is destroyed, create the Winter Soldier in its place. That's a bit morbid. But probably they don't even have the facilities to just have the card destroyed anyway because that's kind of a rare effect after turn three add a random card here for each player 
All right, well then we want to get rid of our low-cost cards to see maybe we could get a free high-cost card getting in over there. And then I want... I'm playing Star-Lord over here. I think he's going to put a card here. And I'm also going to put Ant-Man here. Ant-Man gets three plus three power if he is one of four cards in a place. So I say we start building up on the left side there. He did not. He ruined my Star-Lord. Oh, it does? Okay, it plays it. It just chooses a random card. Okay. So we got Enchantress. On reveal, remove the abilities from all ongoing cards. That seems OP. Too bad I don't have that card, IRL. That seems OP! Agatha? Oh, Agatha starts in your hand and plays your cards for you. Oh, so this is the... Okay. Sure. The play the game for me option? Got it. Okay, um... I really like Ironheart. On reveal, three other of my cards get plus two power. Wolfsbane is a great combo with Ant-Man because both of these cards gain power based on there being a lot of cards in the same lane. So I think I gotta put you there and lock down the left side. Okay, you got Korg. They still got a high level deck. I haven't, he got cards I haven't seen yet. Shuffle a rock into your opponent's deck. Don't let me draw it. You only get 12 cards in a deck, so deck clutter actually does make a big difference, even just initially. And there's there's the frickin' rock. All right, but we're at 15 power on the left side. He's winning two of the locations. He pretty much got... I don't know if this effect is active right now, or it's only when she's in your hand. So I don't know if I'm actually playing against, like, an NPC NPC out here. But I'm going to put... Big Gamble. I am Gamoraing in the middle. Please play something in the middle. Come on! That's big. That's big. That humongous power boost. Okay, there's nothing you can do to catch up to me now, unless you have the Hulk back there. But you could toss that down and tie me in the middle, at least. Oh, but that would also improve Ant-Man's power. Shit. Okay, no, but you probably don't have the Hulk. I mean, he might. There's no reason for him. To, there's no reason to guess. If any of your locations are empty, plus four power. That would be none of them, so that's not that good. I am going to Ironheart in the middle. God damn it, dude. It's the final turn and I didn't draw Odin because of this stupid rock. Or just because I'm unlucky. We are Ironhearting and we're Nightcrawlering. We have given up the right side. The left side also... The left side we may should probably win. I'm snapping you, dude. I'm snapping you. You want to retreat? You want to retreat? I'll give you... I'll give you an opportunity. Left side we should win unless he plays a monster card on the left side. But even so, with good Ironheart RNG, two of our cards on the left side got buffed. Okay, you played Sentinel. That did nothing for you on the left side. We won. All right, nice. Another victory for the albino. That's what I'm talking about out here. Let me collect my rewards. That's right, big snap rooney to get four cubes out there. Okay, so we got enough whatever to upgrade. I think it's just a random card in our deck that gets, like, some kind of boost. And then you can upgrade them to have cooler visual effects. As far as I know, it's purely cosmetic. Nice. Got 25 credits out here. Ooh, we're one away from a mystery card. I do want to see what that is. All right, we played 200 powers worth of cards. Give me that mission. That's what I'm talking about out here. And then for now, uh, we'll just have to wait until tomorrow to get more daily missions. 
and we'll just work on these two objectives right here for a bit while we're still recording. Oh, what do you say? We're 15 minutes in, haven't lost yet. Play it again, man. Let's do it out here. They would be looking at a copy of a card in your opponent's hand. All right, they gave me Mr. Fantastic. I don't know what he got of mine. I kind of don't care. I hope, I hope it gave him Quicksilver, just to be annoying. Uh, let me hit him with that Hawkeye action. If I play a card here next turn, this card gets plus two power. And so what I want to do next turn is play Medusa in the middle. Because she gets a boost from being in the middle. All right, he guessed I would play in the middle and got a little power boost for it. Card with the highest power here gets plus three power. Nice. But it's on either side. Okay. Let's see. He has got a total of... It says plus three. Okay, so we would tie if we put Medusa there. I don't know if that would give the power boost to both of us or what. Okay, you, oh yeah, we got similar prospects out here. Yeah, okay, I guess we're all getting the boost from it. There's a turn seven this game. I've never seen that modifier before. My goodness gracious. Is that ongoing? It is. All right, you play me a Mr. Fantastic in the middle. So that I get two power here and two power on both of these things without even needing to put a card there. Alright, he Nightcrawlerin. He Angeline. We are now winning the right side for free. Plus two power. Okay, so whenever he puts another card in the middle, Angela's gonna get plus two. I could just... Oh, we have Odin. Let's see. Unreveal. These uh, activate the unreveal abilities. These are all on reveal. No, that one's ongoing. I don't know if we'd want to save Odin for the middle. I really don't know. Alright, here's what you're gonna do. Since he put a Nightcrawler there, you're gonna put give me a Quicksilver, you're gonna give me an Ant-Man, and you're gonna give me a Star-Lord. He might put cards on the right, and like exclusively on the right. Hmm. Thank you. But that is a good play. That Namor card, plus five power if it's the only card there. He can move Nightcrawler, that's Nightcrawler's abilities, he can move it once. So he can make Namor the only card there, and then he would tie me in power just by virtue of it being by itself. So I need a little more power on this left side. We do want Iron Heart. And this is how we're going to do it. He's gonna move Nightcrawler to the right. Um, we're good. I really want to play Iron Heart because I want Odin to get I to double Iron Heart's ability. But I simply don't know if that's going to be feasible. Hmm. Gamora goes over there. Because you're moving something on the right side. I know you are. Oh, yep. How about three cards? Okay. Dude, Gamora holding it down over there on the right. We need... If he plays a card on the left, it's going to negate Namor's power boost, so that would be counterproductive unless he put, like, a really high power card over there. Which would kind of be a waste of a turn, in my opinion. Let's see, that activates unreal abilities of other cards, that's ongoing, that's on reveal, that... Putting Odin on the left wouldn't help that much. If I only win the right side, we're going to lose. I cannot Odin. If I Odin, we lose. 
He's probably going to put a high cost card, high power card on the right. That's almost a guarantee. So I think we're actually screwed. I'm going to put Ironheart here on the left because that's going to boost Ant-Man's power. So if he doesn't put something on the left, we'll win the left side. And then maybe Gamora can hold down the right. It would be nice if Ironheart would give her a power boost just to ensure it. She is holding down the right. Yeah, because you hoped in the middle. Why'd you do that? Oh, there's a turn seven! Crap, I don't know if that works in my favor or not. Like, we won if that was turn six. Uh, Odin is the only card to play. We're going to play it on the right because we have no alternative. And then I guess we'll also put Nightcrawler there for some extra power. All right, he's trying to buff on the left side. Is that going to be enough? It's not. I don't know why you bothered to do it. Victory. Damn. Marvel Snap. This dude, probably a bot. Dude's name is Lincoln. Like, I'll, I'll give you that this guy was a bot, perhaps. Okay, we can upgrade Nightcrawler into a 3D Nightcrawler. 3D. Nice. But yeah, like, you play a game like this... Oh, who's the mystery card gonna be? If it's somebody hype, you know, I'm, I want Deadpool. I'm waiting, I've been waiting the whole game to try and get Deadpool wherever he shows up, whenever that's even possible. I don't know if these mystery cards are complete, actually randomized, or if they're, you just don't know what they are until you get up there. If they're just trying to spoiler free it. What do you do? The location to the right has plus six power. That seems pretty decent. That seems... Like a pretty decent card, especially if you have a card that buffs ongoing cards. Which we do, but it's not in my deck because that card by itself kind of sucks. Spectrum, that is. Um. Nice. What do you got for me? We reached collection level 35. Ooh, very good. Got up to level 16. We just gotta win two more matches and then we'll recruit season chapter 2 will be over. Uh, hit me with that free 100 gold, which I now have enough to buy two more daily missions. And I think for the purposes of the video, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. What you got? Play five cost cards. Do I? Yeah, I do. Gamora is a five cost card. Yeah, we can do that. Win a location with four cards. That's usually how it works. Not always, but happens often enough. Let's do it out here, man. Albino the Marvel Snap Champion. This is not a bot. What is Torapute? What's that? Okay. Turn six, cannot play a card on the left side. I mean, turn one is always a throwaway for me. It's just place Quicksilver somewhere. Yeah, I think if it was a bot, he would play his cards, like, exactly the same time as me. After turn five, move all cards here to other random locations. Oh, okay, there, this is gonna be a heavy RNG match. Very RNG. We did not draw any of our twos. That's unfortunate. Or even another one. Alright, sentineling out there. Lost the Avalos base. After turn three, ruin a random location. What does that even mean? What does that mean? You're gonna destroy a lane? Or just like, I don't freaking know, kill everybody in the lane? I have no idea. Well, I'm not playing my good cards then. I'm too scared. So you get me with some Ant-Man shenanigans and you end it there. 
so. You're not gonna destroy the left location, I bet. Bam! Oh, all it does is just make it. Okay, just destroys the effect. That's not very effective then. All right, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna hit me with a Jessica Jones on the left side here. And then if I do not play another card on the left side next turn, Jessica Jones gets double power. And we'll bank on that. Ooh, you snapped, huh? I'm gonna snap you back, cuz. What you think you're doing out here? You think I'm afraid of you? You freaking better not. Alright, we got a three and a two. We're gonna be doing... Medusa in the middle and Ironheart in the middle. Mm, boost my cards to make up for the fact that I can't play another card on turn six on the left. He probably thinks he's got me as a result of that. But no, sir. I got coverage for every scenario. All right, very cool. We're, we're good on the left, then. We have automatically won the left. He never... He, he gave us the left. He forfeited the left on purpose. So here's what's going to happen now. Um, We're going to lose. And as a result of that... Unreveal, unreveal. Ooh, we actually might not... No, we're going to take the middle one. No, he moved Nightcrawler, and you put... Okay. You can have... The, I, I give you the right one, you're not taking the left one, and I'm stealing this middle one. How's that make you feel? Unbeatable. A lesser player would have seen that snap that he did against me, and retreated. Because if you retreat, you lose less rank points. So there's actually a strategic benefit to retreating, and... You know, but people, like, we play balls to the wall out here, alright? Upgrade Jessica Jones again for me. Hit me with that 3D, Jessica Jones. 3D. Damn. I already saw those 2Ds. You got a third nipple somewhere? If you don't play a card, yeah. All right, we got some boosters. Five shocker boosters. I don't use that card. That card sucks. It's the shocker. Yeah, one of the lamest villains ever. But I can still upgrade the card, so I'm going to, because that's how we get extra boosts out here with the green rank. There you go. You get the frame break. Okay, new mystery card. Show me, show me. What do you got for me? Nova. When this card is destroyed, give your cards plus one power. There, There's a destruction meta that's, like, trying to burst forth in some of the cards I'm seeing and getting here, but, like, I don't have enough to make that viable. I have no means of destroying that card, unless I get lucky with one of the environments doing it for me. But yeah, these are all the cards I got right now. Any everywhere from Angel to Abomination. From Hulk to Lady Sif. I even saw a Squirrel Girl out there. Mm, but yeah, that's pretty much Marvel Snap, man. It's a decent time sink. I think it's worth some investment. Not financially, but like, just playing it and... Playing it until the rewards run dry for the time period that you're playing, and then just, like, wait until they organically uh, reintroduce themselves, reimburse themselves. Mm, but yeah, 